So guys, this is what driving to Harrisburg should look like when you're leaving your county. If you have two hands on the wheel that are empty, you're fucking up. In 1.2 miles, turn left onto West Whitehall Road. Ow. Mm. It's the Dr. Sprinter. <laughs> Uh, MC key. Oh. Yeah. No, it says Milwaukee. Oh, it doesn't say Milwaukee. Oh, oh, this man, is this is just a. Awesome. We need a Dewalt now. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. I think this is like. It, my phone actually sees it way better than I do in real life. It's not flickery. Chase wants this space cowboy gun. I don't know. I feel like this is what you get after like so many kills in Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, I like that now. I like that. Hey, look, we got the sniper Ooh. stock. Ooh. Is that a brake action? No, this one is just... <laughs> no, I mean, do you, do you push this and it, you pop it and the chamber splits open? It might, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Cylinder. Oh! Oh! That is awesome! Oh, wow. What does that cost? That is awesome! It's a, it looks like it's a 22 revolver. I meant 22, I mean 20 gauge revolver. This is, this is... It's very steep. 357, wait, hold on, no. That's this, no, it's 860. This is uh, a 45 cold or 410. I want to see what this feels like. Yeah, go ahead. The HK is a left-handed gun. See, when you're reloading, this is how you actually do it. I didn't. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Start from the top. <laughs> You gotta open the bolt first. It's weird it doesn't have a stock or a brace or anything. I think, I don't think it, that thing doesn't fly back when you're, it doesn't hold open like that because if it oh, did. Okay, it would... okay, do this again. Go ahead. HK is left handed, so you can reload it like this. I don't think that's how you do it. You gotta, you gotta hold the bolt. Here, let me. No, this is, I felt it reciprocate, it worked. Oh, I guess you, you could do it that way, but. I don't know, just something about that's so cringe. The color scheme, it just... Oh man. I'm not a fan of the red either. Like, I like the straight all black. But I like this uh, one that has this foregrip on it. I'm not a fan of uh... It's too far forward. Ugh. I hate that aluminum on aluminum sound you get with ARs. That that that, uh, that metal on metal poorly lubricated surface. Yeah. Hey cousin, long time no see! You can make mine oh, look boy, like... Look, I got a drag racing belt, boys! We're going fast! Look, 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 what? Oh, wait a minute. They actually have a speedometer on a boat. Yeah, actually, my, my boat... I... Oh, oh, look, and it comes with a big iPad. Yeah. I'm selling you pieces of shit. Look at that. No, they're supposed to save you money by doing these segmental welds here, but the segmental welds are supposed to be strong. All, not this this segmental know, right? all these segmental welds do is rent this plate from sliding back and forth from front to back. There's a lip here that's welded on underneath that you can't see, and this is this outer plate. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, there's like fucking flux in there. This is a different boat, by the way. Are you sick of your bike slipping on the mud? Well, finally, they've got an all wheel drive bike for you. Just add heavy metal. Yeah, I really wish I could afford one of these things. I saw them a few years ago, and it's still badass. Yeah, these things are sweet. Hey, how fast these things go? So this one with 1,000 watt on the rear, 750 on the front, you'll have 30 miles an hour. That one with 750 on the front and rear, like low 20s. That's fair. Look the big, it looks the fastest you can go. I don't think you're hell. Flat terrain, you can go 30 on this, but I mean, we should. My God, that is beautiful. Yeah, look, that, that, that uh, yeah, that wouldn't be hard to replicate something like that. Yeah, not at all. Yeah, yeah, that is something I love to make. That's the one I use, sharp as well. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the part where it shows a cop about ready to give somebody to beat down with this. No, he's just got, he's, yeah, he's right. patting him down. He, yeah, no, 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 this is for beating somebody down. Why is 
I just bought one of these fellas. This is uh, the most big collection of knives I've ever seen. Pretty I'm really hungry. Gremlins! They're real and they're coming! Okay, do not shoot! That's perfect. How much do you got these what? You got plates over there. What is this like for the when you when there's a fire in the firearms factory or fire in the ammunition plant? That's for like <laughs> <laughs> Oh we got one we got one loaded up. Oh, hey look. No, it can't. Those are those are armor light magazines. Yeah, right. Oh my god! Oh, 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 it's got the pan mag. Ooh. Please do not touch. Oh my god! Oh my god! Jake, do not touch. Do not touch. Do not touch. Hell is that? Tires cost more than my retirement fund, I bet. <laughs> oh my god! I, oh, oh my god, I want this thing. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Find the sales rep. Let's play the game. Find the sales rep. Come on. It's got a weird steering system. Oh, that's, it's got like a lever. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey, it's a manual. This is how you get in. You hop right in front. But I don't know if they, who knows. Huh. Oh, it's locked, I guess. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's those things from Kentucky Ballistics. Yep. Is this a manual? Yeah, it's a manual. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. The engine's rigged. Oh, my God. Hey Rocky, this costs one hundred and forty thousand dollars. <laughs> oh my, that costs more than the property I want to buy. <laughs> that costs about twice as much as the property I wanted to buy. <laughs> now, there, oh, there's another cool thing over here. Yeah, I want to thank you. Wait, wait, wait! The tank treads are an attachment to go over the wheels. Huh. I didn't know. That's oh. interesting. Huh. Yeah, it just kind of goes kinda over strange. the wheel. And look at that, it looks like the bead's actually bolted on. Yeah. Which actually seems pretty convenient for tire changes. Yeah, it sure does. Wow. That's pretty cool. Uh, it looks, uh, it looks, uh, I don't like that, it's got a torque converter. Yeah, no, it looks like it's got a torque converter instead of an actual transmission. It's an Argo. Uh, Basically, that's, that's, normal, that's a, actually it's a continuous velocity transmission. Like a yeah, that's called a torque converter. Yeah. You do not want a torque converter. Uh, I have a uh, torque converter with, with, with my car, but also like, regular transmission. Well, no, the thing is, those don't mix well with mud. Uh, not very good at water either, but mud uh, destroys those. Yeah. yeah. It uses two different pulleys that change size uh, automatically based off of RPM. Oh. So it just has one gear that's always changing. Oh. You know, the entrance to every house should always be toilets. Visible from outside, you can take a shit and shoot a deer. Can you just keep a little bit ahead in the track there? <laughs> this is really amazing. Is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get on the speakers, yeah. Like zoom in on the speakers. Once we get nobody in here, we gotta go. Oh, These lights are very important. Tiki breaky! Is that the light thing off? What the fuck? And here we have the great American hunter. He's hunting for fishing game. <laughs> Heard you got some meat today. What'd you get? What's in the bag? Got me some gator sausage, 
and a wild boar. So I got two gators and a wild boar in this little bag. Huh. I got the snack pack. When were you gonna tell me about the site operation? Jake, where did you get that? That's my favorite ammo producer. Where did you find this? You found it. Five four five. I hate. I hate Brandon so much. Look, look what they did. Is it? Look at the. This stuff's teased. going away. The first ammo that showed up. <laughs> Five four five by thirty nine. The first one that showed up. And that's the one that's hard. I, I hate I hate Brandon so much. Why? What do you do to you? He, he's like a gun. I'm a senile pedophile, and part of touching kids is we need to make sure that nobody has guns, so they don't shoot me for trying to touch their kids. So let's ban all the Russian ammo. No. You damn honkies! <laughs> Weird, like system, yeah. Put a saw on there and <laughs> oh. Need to be sneaky breaky shooting werewolves. Today's ended, so we're letting the truck warm up while enjoying a pickle. What, you don't bring pickles on road trips? <laughs> well, guys, I got to get the shit scared out of me because I noticed I was having really low oil pressure and it continued to drop and uh it, uh it almost got to the bottom and i slowed down and i was noticing it was knocking so i pulled over the first place i could pulled over at a snowco um and it was sounding like shit when i pulled over checked the dipstick nothing on it i had to add four quarts four quarts of oils to get to the correct lay level uh it, the engine started to smooth out and how it ran once it actually had some fucking oil in it but oil was leaking out of the intake and the head gaskets as I was pouring it in. The leak is so fucking bad. And I had to drive for about 10 minutes to get back to my dad's house. And I was watching the oil pressure gauge slowly drop on the way back here. I think I ran out, ran, gone close to running out of oil again. I fucking park it and I just see oil dripping on the snow. I had some major fucking gaskets blow out in the ride back. And I left the dash cam plugged in for a couple of days and now old Gloria's battery is dead. Which actually seems kind of odd that that did that that quickly. And everything this truck just went through. I'm very curious what the oil level is. And what it's going to sound like on a cold start. Fingers crossed it sounds normal. I don't know if I can get this dipstick with the video rolling. Okay. Alright, there's still oil on the dipstick. The level has dropped about uh, a little over half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch since the 10 minute drive when I put it in. So the oil leak is substantial and I can see the oil leak while well, it's everywhere. It's leaking out of both valve covers and the intake. Man, this guy put the truck off of it, not do the best job rebuilding this thing. Come on, motherfucker. Okay, that's a little relieving. I don't think I really hear anything out of the ordinary. I mean, that's just kind of how she sounds when she's cold. Oh, it sounded, it was, it was fucking knocking. I turned, yeah, that, this ain't near as bad as it was before I put that oil in. Oh, man. Oh, I can't wait to get paid. Looks like I got some stuff to order. Uh... I think this thing could still get me to working back. I just got to keep an eye on that oil level. But man, the oil pressure just goes away when I step on the gas now.